light. Oh, darn. Hey, they've survived so far. Let's EVA just to be sure. Ha! Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, and he survives. Oh, and headbutts things. Okay, well, that's not the reason why I'm doing this. That's not the reason why I'm doing this. Air guitar. You see, I uh, often realize that, you know, guitars, they do have a kind of look of a wing on it. So I thought, let's see if I can make a guitar that flies. L a literal air guitar. See, look, this is a, a test vehicle that I had. So let's uh, toggle mode, thread 100%, just you know, pick up some speed here. Hey, there we go, look, see, it totally flies, right? Look at this. And I'm just gonna, um, toggle mode. There we go. You see, this whole thing flies. I should probably not turn hard like that. I mean, the whole thing is, is largely made up of wings, so it does kind of fly pretty well. Right now, it's more like a an air arrow. You know, it's like an arrow smith. I'm an arrow smith? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Would an electric guitar sustain longer in a vacuum? Almost certainly, because most of the damping energy is lost to the body and to the air. That's why you can hear an electric guitar even if uh, you don't have it plugged up into, you know, a pickup thing. Okay, so yeah, that's not going to be going anywhere. Let's let's just uh, shut this engine off. I don't got to throttle down. Throttle down. Thank you. And we'll try and land it. Just turn it hard and get out of this dive. I got a runway to aim for, right? This is obviously not a standard approach, as you can imagine. Oh, okay. Well, I landed it there by accident. <laughs> I thought I was going to go for the runway, but you know, I touched down so perfectly elsewhere. Don't worry, we will take it up and make it into a Stratocaster, right? <laughs>love building planes because they're so easy to get wrong. This may have an issue getting into the air simply because this landing gear is so much shorter at the front. But you know what? Let's just find out what happens. I'm gonna toggle the mode on both of these as well. I'm gonna get maximum thrust for takeoff. Oh! Why is that deprived? Intake air deprived. That's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> well, I guess I need to find some more places to put intake air intakes. Uh, okay.
okay, do you think this will get airborne? <laughs> oh look, we've got thrust in two engines now that we're going fast enough. Okay, we're up to 160. This is mostly wings. Surely it will... Well, I was going to say, surely it'll take off, but you know what'll happen? Is just pulling up causes us to stall. Literally, these things provide generate too much drag. You know what? Authority limiter ten, 14. Let's adjust them upwards. 20, 40. Yeah, now we're slowing down. <laughs> I think that's providing too much drag. Okay, um, that could work. My air, the air brakes are yaw devices. Yes, they're there for yawing. Okay, so we need more intakes, obviously. I can do that. More air intakes we can handle. We need it for... we don't need it for yaw. In fact, I'm going to disable it for pitch as well, because I think the frets might just do it. Oh, oops. Please don't explode. <laughs> well, that's lightened the center of mass at the front of the thing. There. Okay, now we're going faster. Let's pull up. Oh yes! Oh baby! Oh no 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 no! Oh! Whoa! This thing is is ter. Okay, this thing just wants to roll. You know what they say, right? It's just how I roll. This thing just wants to roll. There we go. Let's get it upwards. Man, it just wants to fly upside down. Okay, so what kind of uh, instability mode is that? Because <laughs> I would really like to have some sort of control over this. Maybe we should just turn off. Yeah, authority. Maybe turn off the authority limiter altogether here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, come on, aerodynamics experts. I want to know what this, what this oscillation mode is. Like, I'm not an expert on aerodynamics, but this is probably a regular kind of thing. A mixolydian instability mode. I think you might be making a music joke there. <laughs> That that is that is a music joke for sure. Oh oh, we lost one of our engines. Ah, we lost both of our engines. The rock has had to stop. Down. Yes. Up. Oh. Turn. Oh man, the rock has had to stop. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to just like let this. Accelerate a little more in a straight line. And... No! Yes! Yes! Okay, with the lip of the runway, we are free to navigate and... A little more stable. Although, I think I need to disable roll on these. Oh, uh, dear. I think this should be in a Spinal Tap album. This is... This should be Spinal Tap's private jet. 
Are, am I trying to pull off a disaster area? <laughs> Hot Black Desiato approved. I'm sure there's many... Uh, oh, look at a silhouette that that thing cuts. It does just kind of look like a big arrow. It lacks midget for spinal tap. Yes. Yes, it should be featured in a long overdue sequel to Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend, yeah, totally. Is I love so much about that game, but I'm, I'm, I don't really care about the real-time strategy sections, but all the rock references in that game, it is... It is a joy. Yeah, people, I, every now and then I get messages from people that are like, Wait, I thought you were a raver. How come you like heavy metal? Like, wait, how come you know about classical music? <laughs> like, seriously, I just love it all. Guitar Hero Advanced Edition. What about one of those guitars that are like two guitars? Are you saying that I should make a twin hull version of this? Wait, most of, oh look, we broke a string here! No! We can't hit the low notes of doom anymore! This is no longer an instrument able to play doom metal. Which is, you know, appropriate because these guys are pretty much doomed. Oh man. A, a flying guitar pick to fly in formation. <laughs> oh dear. Where's the whammy? We need to put, build a version with the whammy bar. I need to crash another thing into that so I can shred it. Oh. <laughs> we also need a flying V base which stays really low. I should go in and uh, get a modified version of Chatterer that instead of playing random voice, you know, comm samples, plays random gu guitar riffs. You know? <laughs> Could, that's it. Could you imagine a space program where all the coded communication is in epic rock guitar riffs? There's so many of them. Just cut the engines to drop the bass. Okay, we are... Do we have any fuel here? Okay... No! Oh man, I did a Leonard Skinnerd! Oh, that's a terrible joke. The stairway to heaven didn't go all the way. Okay, let's try this again. They don't have the same vectoring range of those Panther engines, but they should at least... Okay, come on, you know you want to do it. You know what? Uh, I need to disable roll control. Roll. <laughs> there we go. That was quite something there. What a picture. How do you grab a screenshot? Yeah, it, there isn't a logarithmic spacing in KSP to get the frets just right. It, it would be uh, nice to have that because, you know, nobody wants to have a guitar that doesn't look right. Wh where is your sense of culture? How come you don't recognize an iconic shape like this? Now we need to land the space microphone, yeah. <laughs> There's the moon. We're coming around and we're going to visit the dark side, yes. Now we're about to cross into the sphere of influence of the moon, we will be doing some real speed. That is, speed metal. Speed metal is another name for a bullet. Ha! Look, we're about to visit the dark side of the moon. That's right. Oh, I should have put lights on this, damn it. Bye-bye. Now we can't see anything. Okay, here we go. So there's a there's a moon down there somewhere that I can't see anything off. That's not a good sign. Probably means I've crashed something. You're saving up for an asp right now. That's great. You'll be able to join that collection of people who love to take pictures of their asp in front of things. It's really, you haven't played Elite until you've taken a picture of an asp in front of something. 
It looks like a lighter being held up in front of a crowd. Yeah, now this is, uh... I think I need more thrust now, because we need to slow down faster. Oh! Oh, wow! Apparently we hit extra early. So let's, let's put this nose down quickly. Get the nose down. That's right. Excellent. Okay, come on. Nose down. Nose down so we can have the thing here. I'm going to hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Oh, and landing lights. I don't know why I can't see anything. You would think that, that the ambient light would work, but it ain't doing anything here. Okay, now I'm having some trouble. <laughs> come on, get yourself back in there. You know you want to. I think I might have broken something here, right? I think I'm I'm probably seeing like null reference exceptions in the log because the frame rate is just awful and there's literally the landscape is not being illuminated. We really have found the dark side of the moon. I mean, it it's probably a graphical glitch, but it makes me ask the question, how much more black could this be? And and the answer is none. None more black. <laughs> it's the spinal tap dark side of the moon right <laughs> and and everybody that gets the none more black joke <laughs> okay guys I think uh, I think this is this is the end. Thank you.